What is going on guys, it's a Scorpion HD here and today I'm back with another video. Been a while since I've uploaded obviously but uh, yeah today I'm going to talk a bit about uh, Battlefield 4 and the state that the game is uh, currently in, in my opinion. Um, and whether or not, you know, that uh, state has improved uh, whenever it, from, you know, whenever it first launched. So, this is probably one of the most uh, controversial game releases uh, of last year. And that's uh, purely down to the fact that it would seem that, uh, well, not that it would seem, uh, it's almost, you know, it's almost certain that uh, EA rushed DICE into releasing this game last year. Um, I really feel that if the game had had, you know, six more months of development uh, and, you know, they had done a Watch Dogs, uh, this game would have been brilliant and I don't think I'd have had uh, many of the complaints uh, that I have at the, you know, at the minute with it. Um, but no, they wanted to beat, uh, EA wanted it to beat DICE, or sorry, EA wanted this to beat Call of Duty's uh, release date by what, a week or two? In fact, no, it's one week. They wanted it to uh, come out before COD just so that they could rake in the profits uh, for everyone that's going to buy COD. Uh, you know, because they're all looking for something to play for a week. Uh, and they ended up releasing the game uh, in October of last year. Now, oh, where to start with this game? Um, the bugs and uh, lag issues. You know, to be fair to DICE, some of them have been ironed out and dealt with appropriately. But, you know, if I was to give DICE feedback at the minute, um, as a customer or a player, I would really be focusing on uh, saying, you know, one particular uh, thing, and that's what I would also say to Wargaming who make World of Tanks, uh, because they do this as well, and it's really frustrating. Um, stop adding new content to this game uh, whenever it's clearly broken. Because new content just wrecks the game even more, uh, and that's clearly the case with, you know, Battlefield's uh, newly released DLC, Naval Strike. Um, you can't get into a game. You know, 80% of the games that you get into, uh, you rubber band back uh, at ev once every two seconds, which you know, so you know, it's it's pretty unplayable uh, to say the least. Um, and you know, that DLC's been out for what two weeks now. Um, and it's still, you know, it's still shit. It's still unplayable. They haven't done anything about it. Um, and you know, yes, they, as I said, they're only 80%. Only. I wish I could say that. Um, 80% of the servers, I would say, are affected by this. But, whenever I'm paying £50 you know, $60, whatever your regional equivalent is for a game, you you know, there's certain standards uh, and expectations that you have, and rightfully so, you know, that that's a lot of money uh, for a video game. I remember back, what, you know, maybe five years ago, 30 quid was how much a PS2 game was, you know, a triple A PS2 game. Yeah, fuck, even from EA, I remember FIFA's, FIFA's were 30 quid. Uh, and he had priced Battlefield at about 50. Um, so, yeah, whenever you pay this much for a game, you you know you have pretty high expectations, and you know it doesn't help that uh, Battlefield is such a huge franchise, and so many people play it. Now, this is the kind of game that I think, if they had kind of done what. War Thunder doing, I guess, where, you know, it's not going to happen because it's EA and DICE and it's a shooting game. Um, and, you know, in fairness, they actually have a beta. Call of Duty don't. Uh, but if this game had an open beta that lasted about three months or something, that would have been extremely beneficial. Um, and I'm not just talking one shitty map here. I'm talking about, you know, three or four of them. Um, because uh, this game is just why developers are not, I don't know, uh, 
they need to be given time, pretty much, and this is why I appreciate what uh, the guys at Bohemia and uh, Dean Rocket Hall is doing with DayZ, where, you know, he's not rushing the game out. People have already, you know, he's already made his money. Uh, over a million people have already paid for and bought the game, and it's only in early access, alpha, not even in beta. And it's only, as he said, you know, it's probably going to be an alpha for another year. Um, and, you know, they add little things in. And yes, the game might be extremely buggy at the minute, and, you know, things might happen. But at the end of the day, it's a fucking alpha. Um, and that can be extremely beneficial to developers whenever, you know, it comes to the stage the Battlefield's at where... They've released the game, it's buggy as shit, and they have certain uh, dates set for DLCs and stuff, and they have to meet them, because they have given them the dice, or sorry, they've given them the EA, and EA are then expecting, you know, they're fucking opening the wallets, the safes up, for the day that they've given them, and then they're looking to be raking in the profits. Um, and... You know, I don't think it's ever happened uh, in a game that I've played any worse than this particular title. Um, it really is pretty shocking. It's just new content after new content, and they do not bother fixing. Uh, well, maybe maybe that's a bit harsh. They do fix things, but there's such a voluminous amount of BS within this game that they're just not going to be able to fix it all. There's far too many bugs. Uh, it's so laggy. The netcode? Fucking hell. I think I could have programmed a better netcode. And, you know, I, although, uh, it, you know, a game development and all that is potentially, you know, a career path for me and all that and in something in ICT, you know, I think I probably could have done a better job of netcoding and all that shit uh, at the minute than, you know, has been implemented into this game. Um, and it's pretty frustrating, to say the least, um, to play this and to experience it. Especially whenever people like me, uh, and I know other Battlefield fans, have looked forward to this game for, you know, a good year. Uh, I, fuck, I remember looking forward to this and thinking, fuck, I, actually, I remember seeing those trailers. But you, you all have seen the trailers, I would assume, uh, those of you that play Battlefield. Um, where it was like, they, they released three trailers, land, sea, and air, and it was basically like a little cutscene of a rotor turning on a boat, helicopter blades starting up, and then a tank track moving. See, so whenever those were released, I thought they were fake, because I knew, I thought, no way would another Battlefield be out this year. It's far too soon. And I remember my friend telling me he was looking forward to Battlefield 4 at the end of the year, and I said, nah, it's not coming out, no way. This is just not a game. This is not like Call of Duty. You can't re you can't release this every year, two years. It just doesn't work. There's a reason why Bad Company 2 came out what three or four years before Battlefield 3 did. Anyway, you know it was it was quite a long time, um, and that that's how it should be. Um, and you know if you have a look in the Battlefield Premium calendar. The way that that's set up just makes you think, oh, they're going to release another Battlefield game at the end of 2014. I wouldn't bet on it. You know, I think this might be a two-year cycle thing. But Battlefield Premium on Battlefield 3 had content throughout, you know, the whole of 2012 and 2013. Uh, it took you right out to March of 2013. With this, it, it only takes you through to 2014, uh, which is a bit shit. Um, and, you know, to me, that just makes me think, oh, they're going to end up releasing another Battlefield. But yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, ranty video, I guess, uh, on the topic of Battlefield. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I might make another video on this someday. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and cheers. Oh,